Howdy there, partners. Today we saddle up for the top five most infamous outlaws of the Wild West. These kings and queens of the West were a force to be reckoned with and would leave their huge lawless marks on history. The criteria we have come up with for this list is as follows. Firstly, we will examine their infamy, mainly how wanted were they in terms of the price on their head and how many people pursued them. Next, we will talk about whether they were a leader of a gang or not, because usually the leader of the gangs were the most wanted by the law, because if you chop off the head, then the gang usually falls apart. Lastly, we'll talk about their legacy. How did their impression inspire others to take up the banner of the outlaw? These infamous men and women would also go on to inspire more than just actual real people. For example, films, TV shows, and video games would also become infatuated with the idea of outlaws and telling a story not about a hero that most stories lean on, usually, but about more morally gray stories that ponder the idea of morality being more complex. Shades of gray than black and white. So keep with us, partners, as we have a hog-killing time going through the top five most infamous outlaws of the Wild West. All right, partners. Buckle up for a wild ride through outlaw country, starting with none other than the notorious Bell Star, holding down our number five spot. Now this gal was meaner than a rattlesnake with a toothache. I tell ya, from the get-go, she took to a life of crime, like a fish in water. Her first kill would happen back in Arkansas, and she hightailed it out of there with her family to California, where they hid from the law, dodging them bounty hunters hot on their trail. She's as infamous as they come, partner. Her and her husband, Sam, had a price on their head that make your eyes water. Up to a whopping $10,000. She wasn't a gang leader, per se, but she was associated with the James and Younger gang, which was led by the infamous Jesse James. Her death is shrouded in mystery, as thick as molasses in January. Some say she met her maker in a blaze of gunfire. But who pulled the trigger, you may ask? Nobody knows for sure. Bell Star may have ridden off into the sunset, but her legend lives on, inspiring women and men alike to grab a hold of their own slice of outlaw glory in the Wild West for years to come. Whoa there, cowpokes. Hold your horses as we rustle up the number four spot, which is none other than the Wild John King Fisher. Born October 1853 in Collin County, Texas, this hombre was no stranger to trouble. He got himself nicked for a horse thieving at a tender age. Did a spell in jail for a time, but I reckon they let him loose early because he was still wet behind the ears. Now John King Fisher, oh, he earned himself quite a reputation around these parts. Known for being quick on the draw, faster than a jackrabbit in a dust storm. Rode alongside some rough neck hombres he did. Till he up and took charge by putting three of his ex-comrades six feet under in a bloody dust up they had, divvying up their own loot. After that, he made his mark by rustling cattle clear over the Mexican border, making himself a legend in the Texas Panhandle. Though details are actually pretty sparse on how much of a price was on his head for this cattle rustling. He might not have been the biggest name in the history of the wild, wild west, but when he came up to tallying up the bodies, woo-wee, 
he had more notches on his gun belt than you could shake a stick. He took down more than 37 poor souls with his quick hand and steely nerve, making him without a doubt the deadliest outlaw on this list. Saddle up, folks, because we're riding down to the number three spot where we meet the one and only Butch Cassidy. Born April 13, 1868, in Beaver, Utah Territory. This fella didn't waste no time moseying about. He left his kin behind when he was just a young whippersnapper and found himself a mentor in the likes of old Mike Cassidy. He also worked a spell as a butcher's apprentice, earning himself the handle Butch along the way. His first taste of trouble came when he up and pinched some jeans and a pie from a closed up shop. But that was just the start of his wild ride. He would have a bounty of $4,000 on his head. Some wanted posters even depict his bounty up to a whopping $30,000. Of course, that here Butch Cassidy would become a leader of his own band of misfits, which was known as the Wild Bunch. And that's when things really started to heat up. They'd hit up banks and trains faster than a tumbleweed in a twister, hauling in loot like there was no tomorrow. His legend lingered like a ghost on the prairie, hunting the Wild West for years and spurring on a whole passel of would-be outlaws to chase after his shadow, hoping to strike it rich like Butch Cassidy. Well, partners, we're now nearing the tail end of our roundup, and let me tell you, it's been tougher than a one-eyed mule in a hailstorm figuring out who'd snag the number two in one spots. But reckon we've settled on none other than the infamous Billy the Kid. Born either on September 15th or November 23rd, 1859 in New York City, New York. Billy's tail starts out as rough as a ride through a cactus patch. He lost both of his folks by the time he was 15, leaving him high and dry like a tumbleweed in a dust storm. His first run with the law came just a year later, nabbed for rustling some grub and then hightailing it with some loot from a laundry joint. He was sentenced to the hooskettle, but then he slipped his shackles faster than a stroke of lightning, hightailing it from New Mexico to Arizona. He would then go by the handle of William H. Bonnie. Now, old Billy didn't just twiddle his thumbs. After that, he started rustling even more horses and even got mixed up in a scrape with a blacksmith, leading to a showdown hotter than a $2 pistol. Billy's bounty could have been anywhere from $500 to a staggering $5,000. Even though Billy was not a gang leader, he was associated with John R. Mackey, making him probably the most famous outlaw to not even be a leader of a gang. John Henry Tunstall would fall victim to Billy's infamous thieving as Billy stole horses from his ranch. Instead of letting Billy just rot in a jail cell, Tunstall saw something in him and paid his bail and offered Billy a job at his ranch as a ranch hand and a gunner. Billy accepted the offer, of course, and was filled with appreciation and respect for Tunstall, looking up to the man. When Tunstall was killed by a rival faction of his, Billy wasn't about to let it slide. And before you know it, he was knee deep in a shootout with the law. Billy the Kid, oh, he was a legend as big as the West itself, inspiring a whole herd of troublemakers to follow in his bootsteps, raising heck and ruckus wherever they rode. Before we unveil the number one spot, we have some honorable mentions for you, ye cowpokes.
Alright my cattle rustlers, we finally hit the bullseye with our number one spot, who is none other than the notorious Jesse James. Born in the heart of Little Dixie, Missouri on September 5th, 1847, Little Dixie was known for slinging more slaves than a poker player tossing chips. From the get-go, Jesse had a bone to pick with the Union, joining up with the rascally bushwhackers. During the American Civil War, oh boy they raised more heck than a stampede on a prairie. And the price on his head was an outstanding $10,000, enough to make a bounty hunter salivate like a coyote at a rabbit's den. Well, after the dust settled, he rustled up his own gang, the James and Younger Gang. They'd rob trains and stagecoaches clear across the frontier, leaving behind a trail of dust and destruction thicker than a cattle drive in a dust storm. Oh, Jesse James, the king of outlaws, they'd say. He was like a legend straight out of the pages of a dime novel, inspiring a whole generation of troublemakers to try to dethrone the king of outlaws. Well, partners, time to hitch up them horses as we are done with our fabulous outlaw journey. Now, you be sure to go hammer and tongs down in the comment section below. Oh boy, did this list tickle your fancy. Or did it not sit well with you at all? Well, we will be rustling up some more content for you here in the future to come, cowpokes. So make sure you stay alert for some more content coming soon. And thank you for watching, partners.